Hi, I'm Anna Ginter, and I'm here today with a new way to show you how a water hammer arrestor works. So what I have here today is a clear water hammer arrestor that I've created to help show how a water hammer arrestor actually functions. Um, this one is using clear pipe and a piston that was created using a 3D printer, and it has gaskets on it. And what it will show us is that when a valve is closed quickly, um, the force will come back up into the water hammer arrestor and compress the air, taking all the force instead of going back through the pipes and shaking the pipes. Now, this is a homemade water arrestor and it can't be used on the full water pressure in a house. Store-bought water hammer arrestors are usually metal and you can't see inside them. So this was created for educational purposes. It can't be installed in a home whereas the store-bought ones are ideal for installing in your house. This one is just to, for demonstration purposes, and it's great to see what's inside and how it works. The store-bought ones are ones you can put in your house, and they do prevent water hammer and protect your house. This one's to show you how it works, and it's really great for that. And we're gonna see that in just a little bit. So to help to explain some of the principles of um, how water and air work in, uh, our water hammer arrestor. I have two cylinders here with a similar piston. This one's full of water and this one has air. And these show, what these are gonna show is that our water is not compressible and the air in this cylinder, it is compressible. And they have the same gaskets as our water hammer arrestor. And that's what helps our system work. And no matter how I try, I can't really move this one. I can't do anything with it, but our air absorbs the shock because we can compress that. So this helps illustrate what is taking the shock when we close that valve quickly. And, uh, and you'll see how that works. So what I have here today is a model to show how a water hammer arrestor works to stop water hammer in the pipes. So I've used clear pipe to show that when water passes through the pipe and it comes to a fast closed valve, instead of bouncing back and shaking the pipes, it'll come to the water hammer arrestor, which I have here. And I've used clear pipe to make this and it has a piston inside. The force that would instead, if there were no water hammer arrestor, go back and shake the pipes. It'll come to this water hammer arrestor, it'll go up and it'll compress the air. So what I've used to make this is clear pipe and there's a piston inside with gaskets and it has an air, air chamber above it. And this water hammer, what it'll do is like we saw earlier, air is compressible. The air will compress and take the force and it will compress the air instead of going back and shaking the pipes. So that's a pretty neat thing to do. So as the water travels along and it comes to a fast closing valve, it'll come back and the force goes up here, compresses the air, instead of going back and shaking the, and shaking the pipes. And that's how a uh, water hammer arrestor works. So what I have for you here is a setup um, without a water hammer arrestor and I have a valve in line. So as the water flows through the pipe, I have a flexible piece of tube here. So when the valve is closed quickly, we'll be able to see the motion of the tube as the water reaches the quick closing valve. It'll come back and the tube will show the motion from the force as it bounces off the quick close valve and goes back through the system. Without a water hammer arrestor in line to absorb that force, it has to go somewhere, so it's gonna move through the pipes in the opposite direction it was flowing. And that force is really great. And as you can see, I'm slightly wet, 
because the damage it can do to pipes when there's nothing to absorb the force is quite great. So off camera, we had a little bit of an accident. It did it did do some damage to the pipes and um, got me and the whole setup a little bit wet. But it's okay, we have a replacement pipe here. And um, so as the water flows through, it'll come to the quick closing valve, come back, and we'll be able to see this flexible tube move.